Okay. Yeah, it's carbon deposited on there. Right, well, should we show the nice people what you just did? Hopefully, it'll go bang Hopefully a second do it time. Again. So far, 100% success rate. Yeah, off camera because you wanted to check it worked first. Right. It's a rare occurrence on Bloke in the Range, but. Yes, yeah, so I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> shocked and appalled and disappointed at you, sir. Right, yeah. so, Chaspo, needle rifle. Original format of cartridge. So, powder tube, bullet, and adjoining patch, if you like. And the igniter. Igniter is either a burden primer or a normal percussion cap. Good to a, know. I've got a mix of both to see if they both. Okay. Right. So, normally you should be able to push them in and chamber, was the idea. And that was one of the advantages over the Dreiser. They had to shove it in all the way in, whereas here you can throw it in and close a bolt, but I won't, because these are a tight fit. Okay, go on then. So. A well-practiced finger. <sighs> all right, and the trick is, yeah, the bolt should just, should just close, because if you force, you can, your, your chance are either you'll tear the back and the primer will be misaligned and it won't fire, or it'll burst and you won't have the rigidity to hold uh -huh. the primer and it won't go off. Alright. Take two, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Yay for the camera! Fail! <laughs> we should have filmed the first one. Right, explain why it doesn't cock on opening. Right. It doesn't cock on open because there was a risk of, if there was a misfire, if you retracted the cocking piece too quickly and thus the needle, the friction uh, may cause the primer to go off when you retract the needle through the primer. So they knew what it was, but there was an inherent danger with that. Um, considering some soldiers, when it got really gritty, they might put this on the floor and put their boot on here, which would cause it to retract rather quickly. So I'll have another pop, see if it goes off again. Yeah. I think it's probably dead. Hi. You see? The beasts aren't dead. Ugh. Well, that's not supposed to happen. It's probably got a primer stuck on stuck it. Stuck on it, yeah. <laughs> right, I'll have to address this off camera. Problem solved. Brass mallet. Don't know what it was. You can see the seals there. There's a bit of gas leakage past the first one, and then the rest are clean, so. And you've got all the sulfur on the uh, prong there. Yeah. That, the red is a good sign that you've got a good, good, good combustion there. And uh, there's any debris in there. But let's chamber another one and see if it, if it just goes. This one, this one's a burden primed one. Okay. Some people swear by them. Some people swear at them. You swear at them. I probably will. Okay, so not quite far enough. So, so real ones would have been looser, right? Yeah. This one is also, I don't think I have saw much action whatsoever. Yeah. So, uh, 
are newer than new. But of course you get build up at the front. So effectively your chamber gets shorter every time. Take the risk. Ah, seems <laughs> all right. Now that's whether I plug in the cartridge before I fire it. Okay. Oh, that didn't go. That didn't go forward very fast. No. I don't think that even made it all the way. I think that's what the problem was the first time. There's something. Yeah. Slowing it down. Ooh. Sounding gritty. Already after not many shots. Oh, look. There you got a nice ring at the base. Greasy. Lots of red. Yep. Good old Swiss powder. So I think what I'm going to do now first is see what the problem is with the uh, with the spring in there because it's hold it's hanging up. That's why it's not firing. Because once both times. When it's, had, when it's had full travel, it's worked, so see you later.